Hello and welcome. Today we are going to work on radial piston assembly. When we complete the assembly, we should have completed assembly file, look like this. And we should have also have the exploded weave. Um, the first of all, the procedures doesn't give us the angles between each piston. So it just gives us the picture. Um, if your completed assembly looks like on the procedures picture it means your work is correct and as long as you have your um, exploded view such as this one double click like this one it means your assignment is complete okay let's begin so first you guys are supposed to click the um, description part of uh, the link on the description part of this video and then when you click, you are going to go to this uh, page and you just need to make a copy. And then I'm going to just delete the copy part and click OK. OK, when you make your copy, then you have the, all the parts now in your account so you can start to work. So the first suggestion I would recommend on the piston sub assembly, change the revolute one, double click, and change it to revolute mate to fasten. So we're gonna put them back later as a revolute, but when we start to work on the assembly, the top assembly, it is better when you make them fastened. It's gonna make the work a lot easier. Now we cannot move the top part. Of course, because we made the fastened. So I'm going to click the insert new element. I'm going to create an assembly. Just rename it. I'm going to rename it the top assembly. Okay, then I'm going to start to insert the parts. Insert. I'm going to insert first center mount. And then when I click the green chat mark, the origin of the part and origin of the assembly mesh together. And it's going to be mesh together on the origin of the this hole. It means it is good. This is what we expect. So when you've done this part, you are supposed to right click on it and just click the fix. Now we can add the other components. Insert. I'm going to insert one pin large, then I'm going to insert piston head. I'm going to just insert them here, just move the pin large here, and green check mark. Zoom out, just move down this one here. So left click on the top, and I just want them to move here 90 degree. Enter. And then I just want them to turn this direction 90 degrees so I can easily assemble it. And left click on the graph area twice. Now we can start to assemble this part. So I'm going to use Revolate Mate. I need to choose the inner part of this hole here, inner circle. Like here, as you can see, the blue line towards down. And then I just need to choose the top version of this hole. As you can see, blue line upward. upward. So they're going to mesh perfectly. As you can see. And then you can just see the motion if you want. You can see them. It fits perfectly. And green check mark. Out. Now I'm going to use the revolute mate again. I'm going to choose the edge of the top. And then I'm going to use the edge of this part, the top. And they fit together perfectly. Green check mark. As you can see now, uh, it fits perfectly. I'm going to click the isometric view. Now I'm, I'm going to add the piston sub assemblies. I need one, two, three, four of them. And I need four 
pin small. I'm gonna click the insert. First, I'm gonna add the pin small, four of them. So four click. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna just move them on the graphic area. And then I'm gonna add sub assemblies. Assemblies, I'm gonna click the assemblies. Four of them, piece and sub assembly. So four click. One, two, three, four. Just move them here. And green check mark. Zoom out. Let's move them around where they belong to. Second one. This is the third one. This is the fourth one. Let's move the pins. Okay, four pin and four piston sub assembly. Now let's begin the uh, use the mate tool to put them in their place. Okay, so I'm gonna use again revolute mate. Then I'm gonna use inner version of okay here this part and then can I just zoom I need to choose the bottom part perfect okay it's good but opposite direction so I can just flip the primary axis and then I click here to re reorient that's better now so and green check mark so this is Revolate 3, and as you can see, Revolate 4 automatically activated. So I will continue. So just make the process faster. Okay. So I'm gonna click again here, and then I just need to zoom in, and I want that part to touch him in a circle. And it puts the opposite direction. I can just flip axis and just put them at the position. I believe it's better now. So green check mark. So we have the second one in the snap in place. Now we're gonna add the third one. I'm gonna just click the isometric here to see them better. Now I'm gonna choose the Revolate 5 automatically activated again. Gonna choose here again the inner part. And then uh, gonna choose here. There we go. I'm gonna put the wrong direction so we can just flip the axis. Solve green check mark revolute six activated now. Now I'm gonna choose here. You can just move it to put the correct direction, or you can just flip the axis. Which one is easier? You can choose it. Okay, this one is easier for me, therefore I'll choose that part. Zoom. There is more than million ways to solve this assembly which one is the easiest you can prefer that it is opposite direction i'm going to just flip the primary axis so um, i don't like the direction so i can just move them around okay move it here clean check and I'm going to just exit out and I'm going to click the isometric view. All right, so it's not, it doesn't look like good, but we can just move them around a little bit, as you can see. Just move them around.
Now let's put the, all the pins. After that, we are going to make them to look like um, what the procedures want from us. So we can let's put the, all the pins, right? So that's the three one, three of them here. Where is the last one? Okay, he's here. Okay, let's begin with this one then. So I'm going to use the, again the Revolate Mate. And then I'm going to choose the top version of top edge here. And I want the top edge to touch in this top edge. Perfect. It's snap in place. That's the first one. So when I click the green check mark, Revolate 7, change to Revolate 8. So I have the Neve. I Revolate feature again. So I'm going to choose the top version of top edge of the this pin and then I'm going to choose top version of this part perfect green check mark just zoom out again then zoom in choose this is the double eight nine this time again choose the edge and choose the this edge that's the third one Click the green check mark again. The last Revolate for last Revolate feature. I'm gonna choose again the top version of it. Zoom out, zoom in. I'm gonna choose this edge. If you want, you can just click to see the movement. As you can see, it just rotates. 360 degrees around so it's it works perfectly when you complete it instead of this screen check mark you should use this screen check mark so the revolate will not activate again the feature and i'm going to click the isometric view all right it seems it is complete but let's put the um just move them around so it should look like And the procedures how the procedures want from you i believe it looks good um by the way if you are given the angles on the revolate tool let's say let's choose the revolate two uh, not the revolate two this is the pin revolate four okay for this revolate when you go to limits uh, you can put the angles here so you can decide the no minimum no maximum so it means like you can move them around so instead if I just put 50 for the both of them so it will give them 50 degree angle as you can see so you can like a specifically put for each one uh, the desired position but in this uh, example on the procedures it doesn't gives us specific angles it just tells us make look like on the image so we just made it looks like on the image okay this is the first part of the how to complete it um, before you guys continue don't forget to go back to piston sub assembly as you can see we cannot move the uh, the piston right so the reason is that on the piston sub assembly uh, to be able to make the work a lot easier, I change it to fast, uh, the revolute to fasten. So I'm going to just double click and I'm going to just change it to fasten to back again, revolute, and I'm going to click the green check mark. Now on the top assembly, if you uh, play with the piston, now they can move also, guys. Okay, so I'm going to just move them around and you will see what will happen. Can you guys see now? The piston also is moving. Okay. All right. I'm going to just go back. Now uh, we are going to work on the exploded view. So the next part we are going to work on the exploded view. So to be able to work on the exploded view, you should just go to right section of the your desktop and click the exploded views and then you should just click the add exploded view 
and then just move this table to site. And you can easily work. Now it says edit and exploded view, right? So I'll just move this one here. Okay, first um, I'm gonna start with this pin. So left click on the pin and then just move them up. The numbers you can give by yourself, but I'm gonna try to put similar numbers for each one. So I'm gonna put the 75 millimeter. Okay, that's the first one. Then click left click on the graphic area, the empty space. One more time. Now I'm gonna move the piston, left click, and just move them here. You can just move it instead of given number. Maybe it's easier, or you can just uh, put the numbers 75. Left click on the graphic area. Now I'm gonna move the each pin small, four of them together. So I need to choose each one of them. So this is the first one. This is the second one. This is the third one. And okay, just not this one. So I'm gonna just exit out here. Just zoom. Perfect. This is the fourth one. So when you choose all four, just move them up and then I'm going to just click them, 75, enter, bring it work, and left click on the empty graphic area. Now we are going to move the uh, piston sub assemblies. So piston sub assembly, so we need to choose each component here. So I'm going to click here. This is the... Um, rod then i'm gonna choose the pin large second and then i'm gonna choose the uh, piston head that's the third one then i'm gonna just move them all three together and then i'm gonna just type it 60 millimeter and green check mark and left click on the empty graphic area double now i'm gonna choose again the same thing all three of them together just move them all three together and just type it 60 millimeter and green check mark and again left click on the empty graphic area and now this part so i'm going to choose pin large rod and uh, piston and then all three move together how many millimeters 60 millimeter enter green check mark lastly again the left click on the empty graphic area just move them around now we are gonna choose rod Uh, piston and pin notch and then we're gonna move them here again this time let's put the 75 because it is behind it's gonna be easier to be seen so green check mark and then i'm gonna just click the isometric view here left click on the graphic area just zoom all right as you can see this is the exploded view i believe it looks like almost the same as the procedures given to you so this is how to make the exploded view and when you click the done all the pieces go back to, and when you double click the exploded view you can see how the exploded view looks like okay um have a wonderful day thank you for watching